Welcome to the Defense and Airspace Report. I'm Vaga Moradian in Orlando, Florida at the Air Force Association's annual Air Warfare Symposium. This year's topics are Command and Control and Fusion Warfare. Our coverage here is sponsored by DRS Technologies. And we have with us uh, Fred Ross, who's the Deputy Program Manager of the world's largest defense program ever, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Sir, thanks for joining us. No, thanks for having me. It's good to, good to be here. I mean, uh, AFA has uh, turned out to be a, a great event this year, and, and certainly from an F-35 perspective, we're, we're glad to, uh, to be here with our customers and uh, our future customers. Uh, ab absolutely. Uh, obviously, a little bit of high-profile negotiations for you guys. Uh, president-elect uh, became involved in it, then also also as president. Uh, you know, you guys uh, negotiated recently the, the Lot 10 contract. Uh, tell me, you know, did, did, did that ultimately save any money or are you guys, you know, on track for what you guys have been promising, which is going to be the cost savings you've been delivering for the past couple of years? Well, certainly uh, President Trump helped escalate uh, the whole process. Uh, he certainly was uh, instrumental in getting a closure and instrumental on letting us uh, sharp our pencils and looking at it from a more of an affordability standpoint. So I would say, yeah, he was certainly uh, well involved. Let me take you to the the question of the program and where we are right now. Obviously, everybody wanted to be at a, a little bit of a higher rate. Hawk Carlisle has said he couldn't get him fast enough. Todd Walters right. has said the same thing. Uh, everybody's been saying that, but the reality is the, the rate is a little bit slower. How does that, you guys have been looking at rate in order to drive the cost down. What kind of a challenge does that present for you guys? Well, we're certainly, we're going to deliver 66 aircraft this year. Uh, you look at LRIP 11, it's going to go up to 90, 90 plus aircraft. Uh, it enables our supply chain to have more economies of scale, more you know, more uh, numbers. So we're still driving. We're we're successful with the numbers we're having today to continue to drive cost out of the aircraft. We certainly would love more. Uh, however, with what we have uh, today, we're able to uh, keep the cost down. This will be the first. I mean, it's, we got the A model now in the, the 90 million range. So uh, that's uh, that's that's good news for us. Where where what's the target price you guys are driving toward? Well, we certainly would love to have a, uh, an 80, uh, $80 million aircraft, $85 million aircraft. Uh, that's going to be uh, several lots away, but we're, we're certainly uh, this decade want that, want that to happen. Uh, Chris Bogdan has talked about maybe breaking the $70 million mark. Do you guys think you could get there? Well, you know, General Bogdan's got his expectations. Uh, right now, we're not going to take our eye off the, uh, the $80 plus million dollar jet. What is the next milestone for the program? Obviously, it's grinding ahead. You've got IOC in the Marine Corps. Uh, IOC, I mean, the services have IOC now. So talk to us a little bit about that. Well, the biggest uh, milestone we have right now is shutting down the air vehicle side of SDD. That's, that's key. So we're looking at... System design and development. That is correct. So 2017, the close of 2017, for the air vehicle side, we want to close out the SDD. Uh, also, we want to drive cost out of the uh, cost per line hour. So we got to you know, sustain the aircraft at a lower cost point, and then we're working on that. Alice already uh, working working out well now. Alice is getting a lot better, and it is. It's starting to work out well. And if you uh, pulse our customers, they would say that. Sir, thanks very much for taking time Thank with you. us. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you.